Hythe Isle of Wight, centre of British hovercraft activity and research. They can simulate most conditions likely to be encountered by the craft in this test pack. But there is no substitute for the real thing under natural conditions. That's where experimental hovercraft such as the HD2 help maintain Britain's major know-how lead over the rest of the world in this form of transport. Another hovercraft test bed is the CC7. With these machines, designers and scientists can judge the performance of new types of power units and modified shapes. The call is for bigger and faster craft, but they must be manoeuvrable. Stability tests with the HU4 help enormously. The very successful SRN6 is one example of the result of the experimental work. The craft is widely in service. On this occasion, it was taking a group of South Africans who were on a goodwill mission to this country to the British Hovercraft Corporation's headquarters. The visitors, representing the Johannesburg Chamber of Commerce, saw construction in progress on several new machines, including the world's biggest hovercraft, the SRN4, shortly to go into service. They were impressed. Who wouldn't be?